In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of composite figures. That is, figures that are made up of different shapes. So we don't have a formula to find the area of the whole figure. So what we'll do is we're going to cut it up into smaller pieces, find the area of those, and then add them together to get the area of the whole thing. Let's take a look. Find the area of the figure below. So what we've got here is an L shape. And while I have a formula for the area of a rectangle and a triangle and a parallelogram and a trapezoid, I don't have a formula for the area of an L shape. But what I can do here is I can draw a line in and cut this L shape into two rectangles. This way, I've got a rectangle here that I can find the area of. And I've got a rectangle here that I can find the area of. And once I find the area of those two rectangles, now I can find the area of the whole figure. As I look at those two rectangles, I can see that I've got a rectangle here that has a length of eight and a width of two. So using the formula for the area of a rectangle, that area is length times width, I'll just multiply 8 times 2 and find the area of this piece to be 16. Looking down here, I have this other rectangle that has a length of 12 and a width of 4. So I'll multiply those two together and find out that the area of this figure is 12 times 4, or 48. And now if I want the area of the entire figure, what I need to do is just add those two together. So I'll take the 16 and I'll add it to the 48 and find out that the total area of the figure that I started with is 64. We weren't given units here, so we don't know if it's square yards or square feet or square centimeters, but it is going to be 64. One little side note here, when we have composite figures like this, sometimes we're not given all the side lengths. Now here we didn't necessarily need them. But in that original figure, we had a side length that was this whole side right here. And if we look at that whole side, if we were asked to find the perimeter of this figure, we would need to know that side length. And I'm not given it. But if I look at that side length, and then I look across from it and I say, well, that's eight. So that's that much of that vertical line. And then this four would be a little bit more on that vertical line. So this entire side length over here on the left side of the figure would be 12. I didn't need that for this particular question, but it's important for you to know that you can find it if you did. And then similarly, if I needed to know the length of this piece right here, I could find that as well. And the way that I would find that one is this piece on the bottom is 12. That's the horizontal distance. And the piece on the top here is two. And if I take the two away from the 12, that's what I'm left with right here. So the length of this piece would be 10. I didn't need those to find the area, but if I wanted to find the perimeter, I would need those. And now if I wanted to find the perimeter, I just add up all those sides. Let's look at another example of finding the area of a composite figure. Find the area of the figure below. Okay, so this one, it's not an L shape. I'm not going to be able to cut this into two rectangles. Instead, when I go to cut this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in a horizontal line right here so that I, what I've created for myself is a rectangle down here, which is great, and then a triangle up here. So I've turned this into a rectangle and a triangle. I'm going to have to use the formula for the area of a rectangle, which is length times width, and then the area of, I'm going to put a little T there to indicate that's area of, oops, how about an R for area of rectangle? And then area with a little T for area of triangle is one half times the base times the height. So I'm going to find the area of the rectangle, I'm going to find the area of the triangle, and I'll add those together to get the area of the entire figure. So the area of the rectangle, well, let's see, that's eight by 14. So I'll just do eight times 14, and that'll be 112. Now the area of the triangle is gonna be a little bit tougher to do here because 
when I go to find the area of a triangle, I need to do one half times the base times the height. And the base is something I don't know. And the height is something I don't know. So I'm gonna have to do some work here to figure those out before I can find the area of the triangle. Now the base isn't too bad because I've got this horizontal line at the bottom that's eight and the horizontal line across that stretch would also be eight. But now I need to find that length right there because that's gonna be my height. How am I gonna do that? Well, what I have here is a right triangle and I know two of the three sides of the right triangle. So I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. Remember the Pythagorean theorem is leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. So here that's gonna be the thing I don't know that I'm trying to find, I'm gonna call that x squared plus the other leg squared is eight and the hypotenuse was 10. So I've got x squared plus 64 is 100. We will subtract 64 from both sides. Those cancel so that x squared is 36. And then in order to get x by itself, I will take the square root of both sides. These cancel, leaving me just the x, and square root of 36 will be 6. So I had to use the Pythagorean theorem here to find out that this side length is 6. Now I can find the area of the triangle, because the area of the triangle is going to be area of the triangle will be 1 half multiplied by the base of the triangle, which is 8, multiplied by the height of the triangle, which is 6. And so the area of the triangle will be 1 half times 8 times 6, which is 24. So the area of my triangle is 24. The area of my rectangle was 112, and I can add those together to get the area of the entire figure. It will be 112 for the rectangle plus 24 for the triangle, and I'll add those together and have a total area of 136. Again, its area it could be square feet, square yards, square centimeters, square inches, but it's definitely 136.